The NFL on EA Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Minnesota Vikings. Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. Fields it right around the goal line. And he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. When you're on the road, the last thing you want to do is make a mistake that brings the crowd into it. Now you're not just battling your opponent, you're battling yourself as well. are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Trubisky going to look to throw right away. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. There's a lot about that play you could easily see coming. Backed up in the shadow of their own goal line, you know they're going to face pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. It was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even given up a defensive touchdown. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Making the stop there, Daniil Hunter. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Play action. Now Trubisky. He's got him. Complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Kenny Dewagu now out of his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a game of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Gives way to Cook. 
And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. From the 39, Cousins. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. On first and ten, Cousins. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On second down, Cook. And some room to work. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the First and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Now Cousins. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. To throw on second and 10, Cousins. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And the Steelers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. But just a lot going on there in the middle of the field, and this one winds up a turnover. Yeah, the running crossing route here, and the idea of it is to get defenders confused about who to go with. But if you throw it too early, sometimes it's your quarterback that gets confused. And here, he throws it into coverage and gets it intercepted. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. They go play action with Trubisky. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. George Pickens. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Boswell for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. a short kick and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line here are the Vikings now to start their next drive 
And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. From the 27, Cousins. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Trubisky will throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force in completions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, Trubisky. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Now Trubisky. He's got this to Pickens. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Throwing here, Trubisky. Forced out to his left. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. Throw finds Pickens in the end zone.